Hello all, welcome to eDraw Mind. In this video, we'll see how to create a mind map on Microsoft Word and eDraw Mind. First, we'll create one in Microsoft Word. Navigate to the Insert tab. Under Shapes, choose Rectangle. Start creating the mind map of your choice. Use the arrow shape to interconnect the rectangle shapes. Add text to the boxes as shown. Now it's time to color the mind map. Now let's see how to create a mind map on eDraw Mind. Under New, you will find different mind map templates to choose from. Choose Radial Map. Let's start creating a project management mind map. To add a subtopic to the main topic, click on the subtopic icon or press the Enter key. To add topics under a subtopic, select the topic and click on the topic icon. Change the titles as shown. Similarly, continue to build the mind map as shown. Once done with creating the mind map, let's edit the properties. On the right pane, you will find editable properties like branch style. Change the branch style according to your choice. Use the Format Painter option to change the branch style of all the branches available. Once done, apply a theme as per your requirements, as shown. This feature helps to insert a relationship line between two topics. The callout feature allows you to add a callout on any selected topic. The boundary feature helps to add a boundary around a topic and all of its subtopics. The summary feature is used to add a summary to topics and subtopics. The mark feature inserts a mark on the selected topic. The clip art feature allows you to insert clip art on a topic from the list in the symbol library as shown. Similarly, the picture feature adds a picture to a topic. The hyperlink feature allows you to add a link to a shape for quick access to a web page, file, or folder. 
The attachment feature allows you to add an attachment to a selected shape. The note feature will add notes to the selected topic as shown. The comment feature inserts comments to the selected topic as shown. As you can see, the tag feature allows you to add a tag to the selected topic. Now let's see more about slideshows. Click on Auto Create to create slides of your mind map as shown. Click on the slideshow icon to start the slideshow. You can traverse through the topics of your mind map by using the Traverse feature as shown. Now let's look at preparing a Gantt chart. Navigate to Advanced and click on Gantt chart. Select all the topics and click on the Add Task Info icon. Now you can see all your mind map topics are listed into Gantt charts. You can modify the duration of subtopics and the total duration of the main topic changes accordingly. Using the Gantt chart option, you can modify a few things like date, chart units, and define the start and end time, and whether to include weekends. Once your Gantt chart is ready, you can export it as a PDF as shown. Now let's see about exporting your mind map to Microsoft Word. Even in Word, the topics are still editable as you can see. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDrawMax videos. Please find the link in the description below to try eDrawMax online or to download the software.